Hi, my name is Joanne Marcinek from AskJoanne.com and today we're going to talk about keyword research using Google AdWords keyword research tool. Uh, Google has an external keyword research tool that can be found uh, by searching for Google external keyword research tool. Uh, however, the information in it is limited. You are able to get uh, keyword information competition, global searches, monthly searches, global monthly searches, uh, but not any information on uh, approximate cost per click, which I find to be very helpful. So what I recommend is uh, to go ahead and sign up for a Google AdWords account, even if you're not ready to start advertising, although there's lots of places that are now offering $100 coupons, myself included, to get started with AdWords, so you can give it a try pretty much for free. Uh, depending on what industry you're in, $100 can take you fairly far and help you learn how to use the system. So uh, basically there are two different ways to do keyword research from within Google's uh, research tool. One is by typing words and phrases into this box. The other is by putting your website URL into this box. Um, we're going to start with the words or phrases section. So I'm going to do a little research on words like link building, get back links, incoming links. And I will click search. So what the results does, uh, it breaks it down into two areas. One is the exact replication of the keywords that I put in, their estimated competition, global monthly searches. Uh, the default is to show local monthly searches in this column, but I'm not interested in that. So the way that you change that is to go over here to columns and decide which columns you really want to be able to see. In fact, I don't need extracted web page on this one. Uh, that I will use for my next search, but I'll leave it there because it's not really bothering me. So, first section shows the words I actually typed in, their relative competition, and their estimated cost per click. And as you can see, there's a wide range between uh, my f phrase incoming links, which is uh, approximately $1.85 per click, and link building, which is $6.16 per click. If we were only looking at the competition numbers, we would think that get back links is going to be the most expensive, most difficult word to get good visibility for, when in fact, while it does have very fairly high competition, its cost per click is not that high compared to some of these others. And then when you drop down to this section and you see uh, search engine optimization link building, um, while it has global searches of 18000 a month, which is great, it also uh, approximately costs $9.43 per click. So you have to decide really what a click is worth to you. Uh, it also helps to know by viewing your analytics how many clicks does it take before someone uh, buys your product or requests requests information from you or sets up an appointment or makes a phone call or does whatever you consider to be the next step uh, in the process of providing your products and services. Okay, so uh, with these keywords here, what I would do is click on download, uh, either select some of them to download or download the whole kit and caboodle into an Excel spreadsheet and then do a little work in uh, sorting, filtering, and deciding what keywords I wanted to use on my site. The other way of using Google's keyword tool for research is to take your website address and I'm going to use control C and control V to copy and paste that in here and I'm going to click on search. The results that you get from this sort of search tells you basically what keywords Google sees on your website and what it has in its database for the number of monthly searches, and what it would cost to purchase those keywords. This is where the extracted from web page column comes in handy because it, it shows me where on my site um, these keywords are coming from. Uh, if I click on global monthly searches, it's going to sort it for me. So it shows me uh, the highest number of searches and, and uh, what their estimated costs per click are and the phrases related to that. This is good information to uh, to help you understand how Google is seeing your site. If you are seeing uh, keywords here or um, 
information here that you don't feel are appropriate to your site or don't feel they are what your site is about, it, it gives you a clue as to where you might need to make some changes. Uh, it also lets you know uh, which keywords do have lower competition and higher searches and if they are appropriate for you to do this, these might be the keywords that you would want to put more emphasis on your site. Add more content, uh, write some blog posts related to those, and then link in your post back to the section of your site that applies to those keywords word phrases. These are all techniques that will help your site do better in the search engines for those phrases. So that is pretty much uh, Google Keyword Research Tool made easy. You know, just a very simple introduction to how to use the tool and what it is. If you have additional questions or need information, uh, you can contact AskJoanne.com or take a look at my other HubPage articles at HubPage Profile Ask Joanne. Thanks so much for listening and have a great day.